In this video, I'm going to walk you through the new brandable PDF report tool that we've added to the WP Affiliate Search plugin. So what I have here is a report that I'm going to convert to PDF format and have available for my affiliates to download. And what they'll actually be able to do is enter their affiliate ID and click rebrand and the report will be generated with all of their with the affiliate links all replaced by their affiliate link. And let me show you what you need to do to your report in order to set it up before you convert it to a PDF document. So you'll want to go and find the relevant links that are affiliate links in your report. I'm going to scroll down here to one of the main areas. Now here's the link that I want to have the special token placed in so that when they enter their ID they'll be able to rebrand that affiliate link. So if I click here on the link and I edit the hyperlink, you'll see that I have this URL. And what's new about the new this new tool is that in order to get to work with the rebrander, we needed to change the token, the affiliate token that we were using. In the previous version, we were using brackets, three brackets followed by affiliate ID followed by three closed brackets. And we've replaced those brackets with triple X's. So for every one of your links that you want to have a, to be rebranded, you need to make sure that this token is complete with XXX, AFFID, XXX. And that particular area for this particular link is the affiliate link. I'm using ClickBank here as the example. So this is the affiliate link this is the vendor link and then followed by the standard URL code for Clickbank so for every one of my links I need to make sure that I have XXX AFFID XXX in there and that will be all replaced with whatever the affiliate enters as their affiliate ID now that's how a typical Clickbank hop link works and you would do that for any type whatever affiliate system you're using on your report simply put that affiliate token in there with the triple X FID triple X. Now let me show you what it looks like when using Easy Clickmate. I have an example in this same report. So if I scroll up here, you'll see this uh, link right here called Easy Clickmate. That is an Easy Clickmate affiliate link to purchase the Easy Clickmate software. So this is a, an added bonus to your affiliates that they can, if they send this out to their list and somebody makes a purchase of Easy Clickmate by clicking on this link, they'll also get the commission for that link. So I've included that in my report here and I want that as an added bonus to my affiliates. So if I highlight that link and click on hyperlink, and this is the standard format of an easy clickmate URL with the affiliate ID embedded in the URL. So make sure that your format of your URL looks at pretty much identical to this replacing your domain name here and whichever product ID you're using here and make sure that the offer equals triple X AFFID triple X in this area right here I'll include this uh, as text along with this video that you're watching now so you can refer to it if need be so that's the standard structure make sure you use that affiliate token in that place right there for the easy clickmate link so I've got all my link I've gone ahead and I've updated all my links as I've just shown you. This report's now ready for me to convert to a PDF document. Now what I want to do is I want to upload this PDF document to my server so that I can refer to it when I set up the tool in the WP Affiliate Surge plugin. Okay, so I've gone ahead and uploaded my document. So now I'll edit my current page. And now you're going to see this new tool here called Rebrand Reports. And first I'm going to insert a headline. And I'll edit that and give it a title. and then I'll add the rebrand reports tool 
and I'll click on edit. And here I would enter the image URL. So if I had an image of the report that I wanted to include on the page, I'd enter that here. And then I need to enter the unbranded report URL. So this is the newly created PDF report with the affiliate token in place. So I've, up, I've gone ahead and I've uploaded that report and I'll enter the URL. And then I'll scroll up and I'll hit update resource page. And now that report has been added to my tools page. So now I'm going to go view it. And if I scroll down here, I should see it on the bottom. Rebrandable reports. So enter your affiliate ID to rebrand and generate the report. So in order to get any of these affiliate links to work, I have to enter my affiliate ID. Generate affiliate links. And now all of my links have been created. And here's the cloaked affiliate link. If I scroll down, I should now be able to click on this blue button that says rebrand and generate report. and it asks me to open or save it to my desktop and I would save that to my desktop but just for example purposes I want to open it here and show you so now if I scroll down to the links that I showed you as an example I should see the affiliate token ID replaced with the actual affiliate link that I entered And there it is. So the affiliate token ID has been replaced with the affiliate ID that I entered when I generated the links. So you can see how easy it is for your affiliates to enter the affiliate ID, rebrand the report, and now they can send this report out to their mailing list.